Hi guys, Jen here. I wanted to do a easy tutorial on something that you guys um, can do and offer to your customers and it not take forever uh, to make uh, and, and it's just something different than your typical bar of soap. Um, you can make hundreds of different uh, recipes with soap so I wanted to try something different. So right now I'm going to, I've been working on a buttermilk, a foaming buttermilk bath recipe which I think is going to be awesome. So I have listed on the website the stand-up pouches that we use when we package um, milks and clays and butters and uh, lots of things here at Be Scented. I thought it would be a perfect thing for you guys to package um, your buttermilk recipe. So, it, like I said, it's a stand-up pouch. This is it's it's a seven by eleven by three and a half, and um, it's perfect for what we are doing. So when I'm, this recipe, when I designed it to be a foaming, um, it is going to have equal parts of buttermilk and Epsom salt. And then we'll have SLSA. We're gonna use rose kale and clay for color. And baking soda and dendritic salt. Okay guys, I got interrupted with a delivery and I don't know where I was in this whole spiel. Um, so I'm going to go over the recipe again because honestly I don't remember. I paused it when I saw we had a delivery and I don't remember. So we're going to do 25% buttermilk, 25% Epsom salt, 20% SLSA, 5% rose kale and clay and that is for color. 15% uh, baking soda, 10% dendritic salt, and 1 to 3% fragrance load. It just depends on your fragrance uh, and how strongly you want it scented and as long as your fragrance load will uh, be in that mark. Uh, so the dendritic salt is um, a salt that is a finer grain salt than your normal salts and it helps with uh, scent retention and it dissolves very easily in water so a lot of times when you do these bath salts or buttermilk baths and stuff um, you use dendritic salt to um, disperse your fragrance <clears throat> so when, uh, for this recipe starting out the very first thing I'm going to do is I am going to mix my dendritic salt in a container with my fragrance and give that a good whisk and set it to side to kind of let it dry a bit while we work on the rest of the recipe. Okay, so I had to run and grab my fragrance because of course, you know, when I gathered all of my ingredients, I did not get that one item. So for this, I'm just going to do a one pound batch just to do the recipe for you guys and I'll probably take it home and let Noah use it because he loves putting stuff in his bath. So for the one pound batch, I'm going to use 1.6 ounces of dendritic salt. So let me get this bag open. Maybe. It's like so close to Christmas and we're getting tons of deliveries and I can't get this open. Alright. Just pouring nice and slow. Sorry guys, we have a, a new puppy and he cries a lot not the center of attention. So put that off to the side and I'm going to add my fragrance. I need just 0 0.3 ounces and I'm actually going to pour it into my cap so I don't over fill. That's 0.15 so I should need another cap. Two, three. 
Now I'm going to use a whisk and get it all mixed in together here. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this up so you guys can see it well, what I'm doing. Now, we're just going to sit this off to the side, kind of let it air dry some, uh, while we mix up the rest of our recipe. Okay, so while that is back here drying, we are going to start on the rest of our recipe. So I need four ounces of buttermilk powder. Get this going. And of course, you know, a lot of this stuff I've not, I don't have open. You know, I, I should be better prepared, but it's okay. There we go, four ounces. Okay, now we're going to add four ounces of Epsom salt. I'm going to add the SLSA last just because it can be airborne really easily. So we're going to do 0.8 ounces of rose clay. Almost there. There we go. And 2.4 ounces of baking soda. My baking soda is pretty clumpy. I'll try to break it up in the box so it doesn't come out and make a big mess. Faster than I thought. Okay. Now we're going to give this a mix really, really well. Probably going to get my hands in here, get everything broken up. Because we want to get this all mixed in really well. You can also run it through a sift if you want and sift it prior. But it's breaking up pretty well. Just a few little chunks, nothing to really worry with. And I always have, I always think I have chunks and it ends up being the um, Epsom salt and I think it's a chunk of something else, but it's not. See, just that small amount of rose clay, just 5% of the recipe, really gives this a nice color. Okay, so now we're going to take 
our, I'm just giving this a shake over here. Now we're going to take our SLSA and add that in very slowly. And I need 3.2 ounces. take my whisk. I feel like I'll make less of a mess using it. Just get this mixed in really well. Looking nice. All right, now we are going to, oh, I can move my scale out of the way because I'm done with that. And then mix our dendritic salt mixture that has our fragrance in there. Now you can, of course, let that dry much longer until it's completely air dry. But I have another recipe I want to do for you guys, so. Just quickly mixing this one up, and I'm going to go to the next one. There's a few little buttermilk pieces that are not completely mixed, but that's okay. So you can use a spoon or a funnel whatever you may have to get your mixture and of course you know you're probably going to make this on a larger scale so you probably want to use a funnel to get your mixture into your bag and then you can use ooh I just made a mess does it come out real fast luckily this one's going home you can use a regular heat sealer, impulse sealer, to seal these bags. Um, you can get them on Amazon or eBay. Look at that mess. Fairly inexpensive, the impulse sealers. Like, um, I'm thinking less than $50. They may be like $30. Much better to use my finger to do this. And as you can see, this bag easily holds one pound of product. For something like this, you probably could do upwards of two pounds um, in the bag. But then you just seal it and label it and it's good to go for your customers. If you guys make this recipe, let me know how you like it in the comment section. Talk to you later. Bye.